Hey, we're back in here. Wait, where is back in here? Well, we only just entered last time, so it's our first time uh, in here. Are we underwater? Because that shark was swimming. Nope. We're not. Basically, it's what can we use that describes aquatic enemies? A shark. Perfect. But there's no water. A shark. Do it. And so we have a shark representing enemies. I don't think we fight a shark, but there's a shark. I feel like that'd be a given, though. You get to fight a boxing starfish and a seahorse that whacks you with its tail, but you're not gonna fight a shark. <laughs> no shark. And we'll, and we'll make omelets after. Thank you, Japan. Sea slug. I can. It's, it's a sea slug. Oh my gosh. The sea slug's in a lot of places, but the sea slug honestly makes more sense. So. Think... Sea cucumbers? Uh, those are... Well, that's a water element. Let's see. I think that is called a green rope. So... It is green rope. Got a new design for you guys from the monster design team. What do you want to call it? Let's call it green rope. You want to go sea cucumber or... No, just call it green rope. You know, I actually really like Tales of Symphonia, and I'm sorry if it sounds like we're, sh we're just making fun of it all the time. It's just there's some really bad design choices, and then there's the story. There's there's two things that make it so it's really easy to make fun of. Oh no, even even yeah. some of my favorite games, it's 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 a good it's been a good amount of fun to just mock the designs or the uh, name choices. No or, yeah. yeah. That is true. And as I said, I don't dislike Tales of Symphonia, I just dislike the story. So what are we going to name this character? Right, I think her last name should be Fujibayashi. Alright, sweet. That is a, it's a good lead. What should we call it? I call her Sheena. <laughs> okay. To be fair... It's, it's my the, guess is what happened is Fujibayashi is her actual family name. And uh, yeah. originally her, her name was Sheena using the Japanese spelling and it's like... But Americans won't get that. We should change it. Yeah. I can see that. I was gonna say something. Dang, I forgot. Oh well. Names also mean stuff, so I'm not gonna spoil myself, but I'll look up the meaning of the nice name Fujibayashi. I think it's usually like a Sindra character. Alright. Yeah, uh, we'll just have a couple One of the characters from uh, Oh my gosh, I just remember what, what I, last name I just remember what goes on in this episode. I I am dumb with a puzzle for like 20 minutes, and this is not the last time this happens, by the way, so just a heads up. I think we get to the boss, at least. If we don't get to the boss, I'm so sorry. But considering we're three minutes in, I'm a little bit worried we don't get to the boss. And now we shoot water out of the sorcerer's ring as opposed to fire. Oh, I'd rather have the electricity back. Yeah. Given all the, you know, water enemies. Yeah, but as soon as you leave an area, it goes back to fire. Uh huh. So, yeah. So then, why are we using water damage against water enemies? Uh, you'll see why. Since it doesn't make sense, it'd make more sense if it was water outside, but then fire in here. Right. Or, like. It would. It's for puzzle mechanics. By the way, I don't know how you're supposed to know that there unless you go down the other passage first. Also, oh, we haven't gotten to that yet. Never mind. I think I'm trying to figure out the puzzle right now. Maybe we should open the lid of the water jug. It's not like we don't have a sword that we could open the lid with. Or hands. Or hands. But I guess let me uh, explain it away with the canon. Lloyd's supposed to be stupid, though, so he's of course he's not going to understand how to do it. Let, let us do. Uh, I was going to say for somebody for somebody supposed to be so stupid, there's a lot of puzzles in here that I don't think Lloyd should be able to solve. Yeah, nah, Janus just does it for him. Yeah, yeah it, could, it should make you switch to a different character. Say so Lloyd can't understand and read this. Lloyd too dumb. <laughs> Lloyd not no. Should... Lloyd swings sword. It should be. It should be like Pyrovision from Team Fortress 2, but instead, everybody's talking like <laughs> E equals MC squared, and Lloyd's just like, duh. Every, every word from everybody is blah, so it's just blah, 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 blah. But then he picks out words like food, <laughs> sleep, Lloyd. 
<laughs> oh, blah, yes. blah, 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 shrimp. <laughs> blah, 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 swords, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, wait, we're talking something that is related to how I feel and is related to, like, you know, heart of the card stuff? Okay, time for me to be smart. Oh, it's like the only time Lloyd gets smart is, you know, the stereotypical anime thing. It's like, oh, my friends need me. I must get smart now. I can't take the phrase, um, hearts in the cards without thinking of Yu-Gi-Oh. That was the, that was yep. the point. I just couldn't Oh, I thought that yet. was, I thought that was a common phrase because I remember an image that was, uh, when your head's in the game but your heart's in the cards and it was the Yu-Gi-Oh characters playing basketball. I was going to say, I'm, <laughs> I High School of... Musical and Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, oh that's my exactly God. what it was. Oh, I... Oh, we, gotta, we gotta link that now. Yeah, let me... I'll find it. Well, we gotta link Apollo. Enjoy... Eat your hamburgers, Apollo. But yeah, unfortunately, since I was kind of an idiot, this puzzle takes a bit longer than it really should have. And now the door opens back up because I put the fire out. I don't want to set the world on fire. Ouch. Are you trying to do, you trying to do a fallout what? 3? I mean, a fallout fallout 3. I thought it was on 4 too. No. In New Vegas. Uh, oh, uh, no, but the it was the title screen of the title uh, shot for 3. Oh, yeah. So. I don't oh, want to set the world on fire. fire. I just want to light a fire in your heart. For some reason, I was thinking eight or eight crazy nights with you know technical foul man, whose name I can't remember. So that's why I was using that awful voice, and I apologize. Uh. It's a technical foul. That's like the only good part about that movie. Otherwise, um, mm -hmm. just avoid it. Since since the divisive uh, trash channel isn't moderated, I don't think anyone cares. I'll post the meme in there. It's if it's <laughs> bad enough, Shark may make a special exception just. For no, you. it wasn't. It wasn't bad, but I was like, does this really belong in Idle Chattery? Because it feels more like it's idle memory as opposed to idle chatter. Yeah. So it's it's kind of conflicting. It's, I don't feel like I'm too lazy. There are memes everywhere. You can't escape them. I was going to say, I posted two memes on idle chatter. Then again, they, they, it wasn't there when I posted two memes with Scary Peach as well as Street Fighter V face mess up. Good times. Yay. Good times. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh, those voices killed me. Oh no, okay. For, um... I remember the first time I played uh, Fallout 3, because I think I got it, I think I just graduated high school, so I had a ton of free time on my hands, because you know what? I'll get Fallout 3 in the next sale. I got it, and, um... I think I was just blown away from all the, uh... I got into it really late, like everyone else has already played it for years, mm -hmm. but it was it was mesmerizing when I first played it. It was amazing. I never liked Fallout 3, and then I never liked Fallout 4 either, so... Well, I, I liked it, and then I think as my taste kind of matured a bit more, I can look back on it, especially after the the hour and a half feature-length rant I saw about it. Um, I maybe realized, wow, yeah, it really was flawed in comparison to New Vegas, and even the older Fallouts. Um, yeah. I've only done nine hours in the original one, and the original one has so much in terms of, uh... It does. It's not like, oh, you're the evil guy or you're the good guy. There's so much moral ambiguity that you don't know, was I the good guy or was I the bad guy? It doesn't tell you explicitly if you're, if that decision was good or evil. You have to decide for yourself. Yeah. But then they tried to solve that in Fallout 4 by just simply killing the karma system. As yeah, all. which yeah. which by the way, I don't we, know. We we're on a new we're on another seal. So I was gonna say, I know, yeah, that, yeah, I know yeah, that I was yeah, an yeah. idiot, but we are on to another boss. So yeah, in Dual Osea, in Amfrida. I think this boss, even though I'm way over level leveled for it, I think it still does manage to hurt me a bit. I can't remember. 
Like, some of the bosses really hurt, still. Wait, why is this the seal of fire, but we're underwater? Well, not underwater, but in a water tank. This is the seal of water, we did the seal of fire. They were, they were saying the mana is rising Ow. up like it did at the Ow. seal of fire. Yeah. Yeah, I need to learn to read. <laughs> I was like, it didn't make much sense. Which, I mean, it doesn't. If it was the seal of fire, yes. That is, a, that is, that is not how fire works. Uh, I think this is Bandai. Tails? No, I think it's Namco. Which I think it is Bandai Namco now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Bandai Namco rather than Namco Bandai. Yeah. Yeah, Namco. Namco Bandai doesn't really have as, as good of a ring as Bandai Namco does. Yeah, it was Nam Namco, but as we said, we've, they've merged now with Bandai. Sort of like, uh,. Drake and Josh. Josh and Drake doesn't sound as good as Drake and Josh. Yeah. But now I'm just trying to grab lightning just to... Oh, my throat. <laughs> Strike it with lightning over and over again until it goes down. Is it smart like this and actually give them weakness to the uh, their opposite elemental? Sometimes. It depends on it. Sometimes, not always. Oh, oh my gosh, look at all the special moves. Yeah, um, the union bar. I haven't explained that yet. You see that blue bar that's slowly feeling every time I hit her? Yeah. That gives you a union attack. Um, you can use it to you have all your teammates do whatever t attack you want all at once, and sometimes you can even combine attacks. That way it becomes a fifth attack and becomes even stronger, so... You just have to know Did what the attacks are, and I haven't memorized them because I don't care that much. I don't know if it's because she got hit, but did Colette just like trip randomly in the battle? Um, one of her- oh! Colette died! It's Colette. Yeah. That is technically true. Um, one of her skills actually has her, uh, trip every time. Yeah, I mean not- obviously she- she went down that time, but I swear earlier I just sort of like trip fall down on her face and then get back She does. Out. Um, she does. Um, uh, her item thief- there you go. Yeah, yeah item- item- whenever she tries to steal an item, it's her- it's her falling on her face. So, Klutz the Klutz character. How how useful is that move? Because one of the enemies in Persona 4 had the ability to literally just... It would mesmerize your one of your party members so you could control them, and they would just have them waste money. They would literally just throw 300 yen in the air. But it wasn't even detrimental, because you wouldn't lose too much money. You would lose a potion's worth of money. Uh, it's not that great, but I mean, obviously, as is typical with most RPGs, there's always going to be that one item that that one boss has. So oh, now you need to get it. Yeah, keep spamming it until you get it, I guess. Uh, when I played New Vegas, I actually think after spoilers for New Vegas, it is pretty old. So I was gonna say I almost ten years. Man, is it almost ten years? No, uh, six and a half. Okay, good. I was gonna say. But it was in the basically the penthouse with Benny, and it's when he's walking away after Tony son, I don't know. And I wanted to pickpocket Benny his his pistol, and then kill him. But it, I had to keep quick save reload, quick save reload because he would always, always, always caught me. Oh um, yeah. See, I was just while we're on New Vegas, I suppose, and we brought up Benny. I don't like how you have to do the speed run for Fallout New Vegas. You have to sleep with Benny in order to do the speed run. Oh, uh, yeah. Then again, I, I typically like to talk my way out of it unless they attack me first, so that may be part of it, too. Yeah, that was that was one of the big gripes about uh, 4. There weren't nearly as many opportunities, at least in 3, there were some opportunities where you yeah. could just talk your way out of a conversation. And the dialogue system was so bad because in New Vegas, it was just, oh, you need this skill to be this out of this number. And you got it automatically if you had yeah. the number. But you can have 10 charisma and still fail like orange speech checks in uh, Fallout 4, which was absolutely dumb. You'd be a smooth talker, but you still couldn't, you couldn't, I don't know, convince a farm peasant to give you 500 more. Surprised there's no dialogue right now. Yeah, I mean, you'd think that for this it would be, basically saying, you've gained more parts of an angel. But no dialogue, for some reason. 
Tales of, I've noticed Tales of Symphonia is kind of weird like that. Sometimes they'll have dialogue, sometimes they won't. I mean, they have the slapping noise, and it sounded like it really hurt. <laughs> that wasn't even like a comical, you know, slap on the head. That was like a full force slap across the face. It was like, man, if Genus's IQ was perfect, I don't think it is now. Well, he only scored, um... He, he did score the best. It's 400 out of oh, 400. I Oh, he scored 400, the other was 398. I was yeah. going to say, he probably lost the two IQ points from when she slapped him across the head. Exactly. That's what I was going to say, too. And I don't know how you're supposed to know this is here, by the way. I just got lucky going over there. There, There is a chest, but it's in a very awkward position as well. So. You see, I think I mentioned that earlier in one of our playthroughs, where it used to be they would put things out and away in places you would normally expect, and that's how you get your hidden items, but nowadays, they put it under the stairs. I can't remember yeah. if that, that was in Transistor that you mentioned it, or Shovel Knight? But still, you're absolutely right, because it's like, I don't think I've ever found that before, so... Oh, here we have plot again. And by the way, I'm pretty sure we actually oh. have dialogue this time. Plot, yay! I'll stop yeah. practicing ukulele for a minute. Professor Sage, Colette's sick again. I know. It's it drags when there's no plot. It... We must let her mm -hmm. rest immediately. Oh, I was actually about to make a joke about how she's a clutch and tripped, but she actually just fainted. Yes. Yeah. But if this is going to happen every time she releases a seal, Colette is going to have a difficult journey ahead of her. For the time being, I'm going to call the phenomenon Angel Toxicosis. Colette, are you okay? Does it hurt? I'm fine. It'll go away soon. Oh, no. I'm just kind of thinking. I'm sorry for worrying everyone. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's enough. Oh, You're not allowed I thought it was to time to get over it. Ha! <laughs> oh my, my gosh, Claude. I'm it's sorry. not like you're losing any feeling in all of your body or anything. Get over it. That would be funny, actually. I mean, it's not like our village burned down or anything. I'm suffering from the remorse of that. I mean, yeah, sure. You should be the only one to suffer. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Colette, you're still up? I want to point out that this is technically spoilers, but I want to just point out a small hint. Notice that Colette doesn't go to sleep, and then notice which other character does not go to sleep. I'll go to sleep in a little bit. Don't worry. But still... Kratos is still awake too. Just because I know technically it's a spoiler, but if you're playing through the game like a second time, you start to notice all the subtle clues that they're okay. trying to point at something before it okay. happens. Even then, it's not much of a spoiler, because I don't know what it's going to be expanded on. No, you don't, but it's still... Yeah. It, it, if you know the plot, oh. then it's like... Yeah! James got it. What did I get? Oh, I thought you just got what I was mentioning. That's fine. You said, oh... Oh, I was playing a wrong note, and I didn't realize it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> three guesses what song I'm playing. Uh, from something from Transistor. Yeah. Ah, sweet. Which one, though? It's my favorite oh. song from the soundtrack. Uh, the I one that I was telling it. Templar to record, uh, Until We All we all Are One. Ah, uh, no, it's, uh, Paper Boats. Ah, uh, that was my second guess. But let's see, we all become. I was gonna say we can. Oh. I was gonna say I don't oh, mind. Oh wow, that's mega easy. I was gonna say I don't Let mind. Me tune up step. That's why I was gonna say I don't mind you playing. But would it be better if we waited for the banjo for transistor during ban transistor? Yeah, we should probably wait until I reestablish the uh, band practice channel. It's um, I mean, you guys can't hear the ukulele, can you? Oh yeah, we definitely Earlier. can. Yeah. Oh, you can? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Dude, I thought my, I had my sensitivity better than that. No, we definitely can hear it. No, we can. So I, was, I was hearing it, and I was like, somebody who practices well, ukulele. I was going to say, is Mike practicing his piano? But it doesn't... I mean, not piano. Violin? But it doesn't sound like violin. As I thought someone had gotten in. So I, I, I didn't know um, who it was. But Matt's coming in here with his AI-ness and just playing the banjo. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we can definitely hear that. I can't imagine what it must be like for these villagers to um, <laughs> to see the entire party 
paddling up in the bathing tubs. Uh, I, think, I think that everybody has to do it, though, so I mean, it wouldn't be that weird. Um, I thought it would be, uh, I think I'm going on my own my own head cannon that these guys just just gave them bathing tubs to pocket the 200 gold you had to pay for them. Maybe. I have a question. Can you guys hear the fan that I just turned on in the background? No. Okay. No. no. Okay. I think I've explained it. Oh, this is an enemy we haven't seen before, which is the words worm. Not much of a specimen. That's it. They're not. They're caterpillars. Which I think I didn't record, so I think we might actually see them again by mistake. Because I don't think. I, most of the time I write this stuff down in Microsoft Word. That way I don't have to worry about did I see this or did I not see this later. Because uh, I don't want to do duplicates if possible. And yeah, I was going to say, I think I explained this, but this stone obviously makes it so you can write Noish. And I think I explained the benefits and the cons to Noish earlier, right? Um. Oh, I think enemies stay away from you, it looks like. No, enemies move when you move. Um, that's one of them. Oh, yeah. They completely freeze when you stop. And as I said, you move you Ooh. move faster with Noish, and you can see a wider area. The one main downside is you don't see items that are on the ground. So speaking of items... Oh, wait, hold on. I think I was one second too early. So... It's... Speaking of items that you see on the ground, you wouldn't have seen that with Noish. I just, you just wouldn't see the treasure chest? You would not see the treasure chest. So it's kind of a... It's, it's like, explore the world for a bit, and then once you're just going from point A to point B, use Noish. Hey, do you remember that fake Chosen group? Do you remember that they had taken the book? What, they got the book? Yeah, that, that was what they were saying. They got the book for generation. Did they uh, steal it, or did they have it lent to them? They had it lent to them, because remember, they thought that that was the actual uh, Chosen group. They're probably reading it with uh, dirty fingers. Uh, you'll see. Also, I don't know why they called it a book. You'll find out why. I don't find out why they called it a book again in a second, either. Also, go away. Just grinding for, I think it was 10,000 gal was a... No, not 10,000. How much did I gr oh grind for? God. Did I actually grind for 100,000 gal? Yeah, I actually grind, ground... I did grind for 100,000 gal, so I could have legitimately come and bought this, but, uh... <laughs> what could you have bought? The, the pass that they were just talking about, the, oh that 100,000. Remember, I had to grind that. I think... No, that was 100 million gal. Pardon me, I did not grind that. I apologize. How much would you get for, like, each engagement? Uh, about 200 gal. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so... If there was not a way, if there was not a way around this, that would be pain-inducing. There is a way. Yeah. Oh my gosh! She just, no hesitation. Slash. There goes another two IQ. <laughs> she but yeah. every time you open your mouth, that's two points off a test. Exactly. That's permanent. Remember that. One day you'll be as dumb as Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> But basically, in order to read this, he wants the spiritual statue. He's being stingy and not a very nice man. And I don't know if this... I think this is established. He's also a pervert. So. Is he an elf? Because you said he hates men. Uh, he hates men, but he likes women. He's a pervert. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, he's a creepy old man, so... He's, he's the understand. creepy old man trope. What's wrong? No, you don't know? Yeah. <laughs> There's more plot, by the way. Yeah, the designs are attacking Paul Costa. Leader from the ranch. Is that the same ranch we visited? Different ranch. Oh, uh, okay. you, do you mean the ranch that we visited briefly for like two seconds and then said, let's get out of here? Yeah. Yeah, that's the same ranch. But <laughs> it's not because of us this time. It's not because of us this time. But maybe, oh, maybe you, he was a guard where? on duty and he saw, some, uh, he saw some bushes rustling. He said, you know what? I think we should raid the village nearby. Yeah. I thought I saw something. <laughs> I was gonna say, this time it's not because of Lloyd. Basically, do you remember how we wouldn't sell anything to those designs about two episodes ago? <laughs> They're not happy. Apparently denying services is a reason to raid a village. 
By the way, she just got she just hit genius again. That's six oh. IQ this episode. If it's two IQ, if it's two IQ an episode, er, er, er. I think we need to keep we need running, to get a, yeah. running tally. He's like, we're gonna get a, a check or a tally on how yeah. much IQ he's lost. So he's down. He was at four hundred. So let's see, down six, three ninety four. Wow, so he's he's not as smart as the uh, the kid back there. So it's no. a good thing he took the test first. And now <laughs> exactly. he's losing his IQ points. Well, the test determines everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely everything. So <laughs> it determines whether or not hey, I get to be part of the cool kids in school. Hey, I'm the fun. Cool kids wear glasses and all that. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, yeah, I thought the lower score means you're better. So yeah. it means you're more popular. I thought that's how it always worked. So. Uh. I suppose, unless it's a school dedicated specifically to intelligence. Well, if we're going by by Japanese uh, rules, yeah. usually whoever's the highest on the score is popular. That is true. Unless it's Bleach, was... and then Ichigo's popular for some reason. I guess because he's in... I don't know, I guess because the lower you go, the more of an anti-hero. Yeah. Something you do. I, tried, I didn't... Bleach was not my thing. That's what I'm going to say. Whoa. Wait, did you see the designs are attacking another village? This one. Oh, they have attacked or they're planning to? They have. It, it doesn't look so bad at the moment, though, does it? I was, yeah, they I must have just kind of walked in and smashed a window and left. Oh, we also have enough time to sleep and go through the cutscene. Cool. Cutscenes. <sighs> yes, a human life is too short to count them all. As I said, they're they're not being subtle with the hints. If you know what what the plot twist is later, I feel like I'm kind of seeing it coming. I'm not gonna say anything, and it's probably gonna be wrong because I usually am about what I guess. But right, I think I kind of see what's coming. You might, and I was gonna say we'll find out in like another eight episodes. So it, it's a, it's a little bit of a mess. I was gonna say, there's a fair amount of plot that happens, though. And I think that I was going to go right there, but then I decided, hey, how's the rest of the town reacting while there's a pub public hanging going on? I, mean, I did misspeak. Oh it, it, <laughs> there's, a, there's a public hanging? Yeah, that's what the designs are doing. When I said that they were attacking, that was a little bit of me misspeaking. It's a public <laughs> hanging because they wouldn't sell to the designs. Oh, so. God, we were at this village before, weren't we? Yeah, we were. Oh, my gosh. Please don't tell me it's going to be the shopkeeper and her mother. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but remember, this time it wasn't Lloyd at all. <laughs> they literally just walked in and said, yeah, I'm not selling you anything. All right, yeah, we'll be back. Yeah. I thought it was just <laughs> That's pretty some much. world building. Nah, it comes back. Like, I mean, technically, I don't think we're going to get to it until next episode, so now I wish I hadn't spoiled it, but, you know. <laughs> yep. I, I'm keeping the big spoil. I'm I'm keeping the big spoilers down. So. By the way, can you still hear my ukulele? No. Not at the moment. No. Cool. No, I figured out how to fix that problem then. Nice. I was gonna say. By the way, that's a secret route that does absolutely nothing. So. There's lots of those in games. Yeah, there is. It's one of the meanest things I will ever do as a dungeon master. I'll just put an empty room. Ah, uh, then you're gonna make them think there's something in there, and they're gonna search every wall, and that's gonna take like three hours. Exactly. Ah! <laughs> Law of that's conservation of detail, right? So. It's. I have this one dungeon. It is five rooms in total, and it takes players an average of four hours to clear it. Woof. Because it's empty. No, actually, there's a lot of stuff in there. They just have to find it. Extermination campaign. Oh my gosh. Like, no, no, th that one's good. That's actually saying we're trying to get rid of the designs. Oh, okay. I, thought, I, thought I, the just, same, I thought the same thing at first. Because the phrase extermination, just you never really see that in a positive light, even if it's your own military. Yeah. I should mention those uh, five rooms, not like they're all empty. It's There's actual tricks and stuff around there. Yeah, I'd imagine just that. By the oh, way, no. yeah, it's I was empty. Gonna say, it's empty. Oh, please, no. <laughs> Super and oh no. Why am I always right? 
Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh. 